Welcome to Spring 2024 Business Statistics Business 210 class. Hey, we have two websites for this class. Here's the Canvas class, and there's basically nothing at this site. Where we're going to be working is the People website. I built everything for this class. There's no textbook to buy, no Canvas shell from the textbook. I built it all. That way, you don't have to buy one of those expensive textbooks. So here's our class. I'm going to click. I am building this class this quarter. So, so far, we only have sections one to three. We'll have 10 sections by the end of the quarter. Here's the syllabus, the introductory video. Well, I'm filming that right now. Now, we'll come back to the syllabus just for a moment, but let me click on section one to give you an idea how we're going to do things in this class. It all comes down to watching the videos that I made. These are posted at YouTube. So for each section, here's section two, there'll be a new set of videos. I'm going to click back, go to section one. Now, before you click and watch these, you come up here and download these files. These two files are what you download and then open the Excel file and as you watch the videos, you follow along and practice. When you complete it and you've done all the practicing, you don't hand it in. It's only practice for the test. Similarly, here are some homework problems, just some extra problems I made for you to practice before you get to the test. There are solutions in all these files, so if you get stuck, the solution is there for you. Now, here's how it works. I'm going to download and the .xlsx, you can just click and it will ask you to download, but this is a CSV file. These are files with data that we'll have to import into Excel so we can analyze it using statistics. For this, if you click, it opens, so you right click, save link as. Now I'm going to save this file. And in this Excel file, there are lots of worksheet tabs. You click on each one. And this is a different part in the video where I'll be talking about things on this sheet. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down because ultimately the blue sheets have the cells where you're going to do things to practice while you're watching the video. So notice I have the Excel file open before I went to watch the video. Here's video two. I'm going to click. And this is YouTube, so you guys know how to use YouTube. You can go forwards and backwards, and yes, you have a rewind button for your teacher. But you watch it, but below the video, this is the show more area. If you click more, there's actually a time hyperlink table of contents. Now, when you watch the video for the first time, you just watch it straight through. But later on a test or when you're out there working and you can't remember how to navigate through worksheets, right? You just come here and you click and it jumps to that part of the video. Wow. Now I click pause and notice there's a yellow sheet. There's the blue sheet right there. So I got to this section of the video and this is where you're watching. You hit pause, you go over to the workbook and you practice. So it's a back and forth thing, Excel workbook. I'm gonna use the keyboard Alt-Tab, which I teach you in the videos, Alt-Tab, because it jumps right back over here. So you watch, you practice, watch and practice. Now when you're done with all the videos and all of these files, then you can do the test. Now I'm gonna click back. We'll go to the syllabus. Now at the top of the syllabus, there's a hyperlinked table of contents. So if you want to jump to the grading section, you just click and there it is. Now at the end of the syllabus, this is where our schedule is. Remember, I told you we basically have nothing at Canvas except for a place to upload your test, which I'll show you in a moment. Everything is at the People website. This is where you go each week or each day to see what you have to do. Now notice week one, you have to make sure, and just as it said in the schedule when you signed up for this class, you have to have a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. Now if you have a Mac, you can't use a Mac, and the reason is simple. In the working world, nobody uses a Mac. So in the business department, we have to train you and teach you exactly how it's going to be in the working world. So first week, 
You got to secure a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. You can check one out from Highline, which is actually exactly what it said in the schedule when you signed up for this class. So week one, week two, the topic is introduction to statistics in Excel. There's four videos to watch. And after you're done with watching the videos and practicing in Excel, the schedule says, hey, I'm going to email out that test on April 12th, around noon, that's Friday, and you have all the way until midnight on Monday to complete it and upload it to Canvas. This is when we get to go look at Canvas. In the home area, the top has a link to go to our real website, and here's the only thing you really need over here. Here are the upload links. Now, so far, I only have up through week four, so that's where you upload. You can come and look at your grades, of course, I will make announcements. Those will be posted here. And if you have questions, you can post to the discussion board here. It's not required for this class. However, if you ask something about Excel, post a question here and be sure and attach the Excel file because it's much easier to answer the question when I have the file. You can also send it by email or stop by my office anytime and I'll give you help. But that's the Canvas website. Back over to our people website, we just want to look at a few more things. Now, the first note right after the table of contents talks about this class and the fact that you don't have to buy a textbook. But this is the first quarter where I didn't require a textbook. And unfortunately, I filmed these videos before this quarter. So if in the video I talk about the textbook, just ignore it. If I mention, hey, go to this chapter, just ignore it. I'm not going to use the word chapter, I'm going to use the word section. Also, in the videos, all of the Excel files, for example, this is the file for our first section. We used to have to use .xlsm as a file extension, but we no longer have to do that. So if you see this file extension, now we're going to use .xlx. So for the first section, that's the name of the file. All right, I'm going to click the back button, and that's all we have for this introductory video. So next Monday, we're going to start having fun with statistics and Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.